So, <clears throat> this is uh, my spot welder. If you look over here, this is my foot pedal control for welding. These are the outputs here. They are low voltage, high current outputs. Uh, around 1,000 amps power. It's fused at uh, 10 amps on the AC mains, which gives you about 1,200 watts rated. Here's my power in. If you open this, what you'll see is a bamboo tea box that's been fiberglassed on the base. Inside of it is about a three millimeter steel plate that's been glassed inside of it. This is a microwave transformer. The secondaries have been cut off. In place of the secondaries is a three turn or two turn. I have to look at it. I guess it's about three turn. Um, four gauge secondary. Um, I haven't actually counted the number of turns in the primary. Nor have I actually tested this with an open circuit test yet. What I have going on here is I have a transformation from high voltage to low voltage. However, it's controlled by this unit here. This is using an Atmega 238P. Same thing as an Arduino. And um, it's underneath, if you look under here, it's underneath the side of the chip. Um, this right here, this little, this knob, this is a digital knob. That knob will adjust the pulse time for the weld current. I can also do that in programming. That button there also allows for the welding, which is why I have that high standoff there so that it can be not inadvertently turned on. This over here is an XLR connection that is hardwired into a foot pedal. Um, that is not yet connected. I think I'm going to use this connector here. I'm not sure exactly. That is not actually soldered on the board yet. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to hook that up yet. Maybe I'll go underneath. Maybe I'll go over top. But that is for remote control. I want to use hand-free welding. What this is here, what this will do is it's going to be made for welding zinc connections on top of batteries. I guess that's all I have for now. Enjoy.